Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to create this smooth carousel animation. Before we start this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you will be notified once I upload the new ones. Let's get into the video. So first of all, we need to create our frame. So I have here, I have created a frame named carousel design and you can choose the design whatever you want we'll just here for the carousel that we will be creating just like this i'll be explaining this later and before that we needed to this to make this look like a website so first let's add this top navigation that i already created so there you go we have this and let's just for the meantime add a stroke on the bottom just to have a clear identifier where we can set our frame size for the carousel so, so let's create the frame just needed it just like this size put it right on top first thing we need to do is let's add a image just like this so we can go to pixels or unsplash whatever you like and add images let's just search for image here maybe this one there you go we have our frame here frame 10 let's name that into carousel frame and then let's add some text right here focus on the inside just run just type some random text that you like just like that and place it right here and let's add a navigator so this will be the triggers on how we can move our carousel so for this one uh, let's just add a circles just like that so maybe we'll create three of this so let's auto layout that and add some spacing proper spacing 16 and these two here let's make them white while the other ones are 30% opacity are on 30% opacity let's scale this down there you go place it right here and align our text right here there you go so let's add some depth on the image so let's add an overlay it's linear and swap these swatches from top to bottom and select the first swatch here select the background color for the other one same then once you click the other one it's not zero percent so it's it is now 100 percent full so let's just turn it back and then for your layer linear color let's put it back to 80 maybe then we do like 100 there you go now we can see now a fade effect from the background color up to the image just to add some depth so maybe we can adjust its size here there you go this will be our first image for our design carousel design let's select our frame there you go and 
duplicate it right here let's rename this into carousel frame 1 now to add more images to the carousel let's add another one named it automatically by 2 then let's select the frame and go back to pixels and choose other images uh, maybe we can try this uh, this is not a good fit let's try other one maybe this one yeah I think this is good so as we can see the fade effect has been removed so how do we fix that let's just select the frame and move the current image down below the linear and this one also there you go so we have now our fade effect back so let's do that one more time carousel frame 3 then let's go back to pixels and select some images maybe the best fit for this would be the landscape ones since our frame uh, size is landscape but I'm trying to find some same issue just move down our current image and bring back the linear up top there you go so let's change this with some random words street life is the best this one is up top aim high that's the words we created so for this first uh, options you need to select them and then group them into a frame so let's just right click after you selected all those three and then frame selection or control alt G there you go we now have one frame for all of those let's name this as set one so this will be the first set for our uh, carousel now we needed to make three of these ones just to make the animation work so for this one let's make another set two there you go automatically done and set three now we need to set up the visibility of the frame that we have set since we have a width of 4320 all of these three uh, carousel frames will be shown we need to limit this just to have it for the first image just right here so once we clip the content this is the only one that will be seen so let's return this back first so that we have a guide for this set two we need this image only to be seen so let's reduce the frame size and then select the, f the select the carousel frames inside of this this one this one and then move this move this further be sure just that you are still in the set two frame and you're moving this so there you go now let's try to clip the content so it's success um, for the next one last one we'll need to see the last frame to be seen let's select the frames also and resize this just right here Oh, we haven't resized the frame the whole frame so just like that let's 
so we now have a set one set two and set three so the next thing we'll do let's move it right here so the next thing we'll do is the is to organize these indicators so for this one we'll just move it right here then copy this then click it right here to the next set and then paste to replace there you go for the second one right here and paste to replace for the third one let's just do the same then copy paste to replace there you go we now have our parcel sets so let's clip this contents uh, maybe not for now so let's just keep it like this now let's select these sets and create this into a component set so there you go let's just unclip the contents under the component let's name this carousel then now we do the prototyping so first we select this one go to prototyping these other two this one right here and then this one also here so so a uh, reminder that you don't need to point these navigators onto these uh, images you should be pointing this to the sets that we have already created which is set 2 and set 3 and set 1 so for the set 1 I have pointed these uh, prototypes to this frame and the next one is to this last frame so just do this all throughout other uh, screens also So if you noticed, my animation that I have did is, let's try smart animate and slow. This works best with the carousel, so it creates a, uh, no, it creates a good transition and depth also to the design. So let's do that to all the prototype links. So this one here is done also to this one but if you have any other choice depending on your goal for your design for the transition you can do it as well so now let's select the set one and then paste to replace here to the previous design that we created so you can see it turned into a violet one which is a child component from our parent component which is carousel so let's try if this thing will work so before that let's add more depth of the design here so let's remove the fill or maybe just push it upwards more then move the carousel to the bottom just like that so now you have a more dramatic look on your design Let, then let's just remove this stroke so there we go let's try uh, playing this one so there you go you now have a carousel design carousel animation for your designs so it looks more cool and dramatic 
so if you want this to be also automated we can do that as well so what we can do here in the prototype we'll just have to select this and then select the first frame and then point it to the second frame then let's just set the trigger into after delay so maybe after a uh, 5 millisecond delay the animation will start so for this demo uh, I think 5 milliseconds is enough but for the sake of other transitions that you want maybe a longer duration would be great for this one 5 milliseconds and lastly so the last uh, image will turn back to the first one so 5 milliseconds there you go we now have our automated design for the carousel let's try it out so there you go I'm not pointing any thing in the cursors so it automatically changes so if you change the duration it creates more dramatic feel for your design and you can experiment a lot of things on how your carousel works but for the main logic is to create a component set that is set like this to create a smooth tran transition between your sets so your first frame second and third so if you like this video be sure to subscribe and hit the like button below leave your comments and thoughts about the design and if you have any question i'll be sure to reply ev each and every one of you thank you for watching in this video bye bye